views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. We got a big celebration coming up as long as we can keep it going. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep it going, but if we can, you know, a big 100 vest celebration coming up on Wednesday. All right. And I actually have updates, positive updates in regards to that celebration. <clears throat> as we're getting closer to it, you know, I'm getting ideas. In addition to that, I'm, get, I'm getting other ideas. All right. I'm getting other ideas. This is the stupidest idea ever. This stream is important for two reasons. It's the continuation of my Modern Warfare 2 remastered campaign gameplay. <clears throat> and this is in interesting for two reasons. First of all, I'm playing this on Hardened. That's the tougher difficulty setting. I've never done that for Call of Duty before. And when I played this earlier in the week, I got destroyed. This game was infinitely spawning enemies in sniping positions on my ass to the point where it took me a half an hour to get through this one segment that should have taken, no lie, two minutes. Okay? <clears throat> so because of that, this playthrough is becoming quite challenging. And a lot of people obviously made fun of me for it and whatever. I don't really give a shit. If we continue this streak of hitting the tips goal or the vest streak, as we call it, because I put the vest on in celebration when we do that, that means... That would be the 100th straight stream where we hit the tips goal. Okay? I don't give a shit. The return of DSP tries it. That is correct. I am going to do live DSP tries it. A guaranteed one, maybe two products will be tried during the stream. I don't know 100% yet, but we'll see how the stream goes. But definitely at least one DSP tries it episode will happen live on the stream. Okay? <clears throat> Wow. Not pre-recorded. It's actually going to be live. All right? We'll do it live. Fuck it. I received notification that something that I ordered specifically for this stream will be delivered in time for the stream. A new idea that I had this morning as I was talking with everyone in the stream chat. Shout out to PW Dubs because he says to me, Phil, during the 100 Vest Street, will we listen to <clears throat> the music discography of Britney Spears? So I thought about it for a minute. I strongly considered it. And I said, no, we're not doing that. It's stupid. But it gave me an idea. I said, you know what we could do? Something that we've never done before. We could actually go through the popular music remixes playlist that I play here on the streams every single day. But what we can do is watch those music videos back together. foresee or believe that this vest goal is going to continue past 100, I think it'll be like, all right, that was a great effort. We did it. And then things are going to kind of, you know, slow down when it comes to uh, the vest. I don't foresee us continuing on with this vest streak after that. Um, being realistic, you know, I'm not you know, I'm not trying to be negative or be a, 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 a downer, but like it's been so crazy. I never suspected we would hit 100 and we're so close to it now that I really think it's just going to kind of end this week, okay? Just throwing that out there um, as an option. With eight days left in the month, you know, it's time to start making a push if we want to hit this subs goal and make this happen, okay? <clears throat> Fair enough. Another wrestler uh, has passed away, and the strong suspect suspected cause of death here is suicide. And this is an up-and-coming young wrestler, only 22 years old, and apparently she had been on some kind of a reality TV show. Um, not that I know what it is. I've never heard of it or anything, you know. And apparently, like, her appearance on this reality TV show created an insane amount of, like, online harassment. I've been the victim of online harassment for how many years now? But I have really thick skin. I've grown to have really thick skin. And I use online harassment as a way to motivate myself to continuously push forward and continue to be successful, you know? In a way, having people who oppose me motivates me to do better. <laughs> All right, but admittedly, <clears throat> admittedly, okay, um, I hate to say it, it does affect you. Even when you have the thickest skin, it affects you. It can wear you down. It can add up. It can have this ongoing thing in the back of your head that maybe some of the things people are saying are true. 
Maybe you really are human garbage, right? Maybe you don't deserve to, to, to get anything positive in your life. It's fucked up. The stuff that happens when people are... When you have that constant element of negativity in your life, it can really become something that affects you in the back of your mind. Even if you're the kind of person that doesn't believe it, it can still subconsciously get to you. Okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get serious. It's time to stop screwing around here. Today, I do want to tackle a serious topic, you know, real talk, not joking or anything here. This is something that's very serious. It affects thousands of people across the globe. The topic I want to discuss to end my, my podcast this week or this month, whenever you want to say, is depression. Depression is not a joke. It's not something to be joked about, by the way. You are not alone. You are not a horrible person because you have this. It's not your fault, you know, and I'm starting to tear up. It's not a disease. It's a disorder. All right. It's a disorder. I'll call it a disorder. Oh, for the little Nancys who might get offended that I said disease instead of disorder. Oh, my God. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me that I'm a bad person. All he's been doing is sitting there all night complaining that he's depressed and no one cares. And by the way, I see people are cheering. I'm not going to read those because I want to focus on what I'm talking about. All right? I do. This is serious. I just want to get through this before anything. Okay? And everyone's basically ignoring him because you're like, dude, we just don't care. You know, you come in, the first thing you say is you're depressed. Just like people, ignorant idiots in the stream chat are saying right now as I'm describing this to you. Oh, that's just a self-esteem issue. Oh, it's just that. Wrong. And that's what I mean. That's the worst thing you can do to someone who has this is to tell them they're wrong. Their problem isn't valid. It's something else. And how dare you act like you have a problem. And what are we supposed to say to that? Now he expects that I'm going to derail the whole stream to talk to him live. So let's do it. Super Meat Boy, how you doing? You're really depressed tonight, huh? God forbid if someone, you know someone who has it or says they have it or they're feeling down and like, do not react in that manner. That is just going to make them even worse, okay? You're really depressed. I do feel that over the years, as a person, I've grown tremendously. Gotta derail my whole stream and be negative in the stream chat because no one's paying you attention. So now I'm paying you attention, all right? So here we go. How you doing? Me now versus me when I started on YouTube, I'm a much better person, I, I feel, right now. <laughs> now you're getting the attention you want, so let's talk. What do you want to talk about? Here we go. Super Meat Boy, here we go. What's up? What's going on? I'm a much more moral person. You know what I mean? I've changed for the better. Now he's not talking. Now he's silent. I give him his time to shine. He's, he's, everyone's ignoring him. He wants attention. I'm giving him the attention he so craves, and now I hear not, no response. I hope that this segment helps people who maybe are alone and feel like they are you're not all right and know that there's always people out there who care about you where's there's work what do you want to talk about what's going on crickets people will miss you and even if you don't see it every day and even if you're treated like shit every fucking day right super meat boy how you doing you're really depressed tonight huh you're really depressed Sorry, I'm, I'm tearing up. I can't even read. Um, not going to make me tear up again. And I'm speaking from experience here. <clears throat> the other thing is, people need to understand that not everyone's the same. That there are people who just can't take it, you know. Maybe they're already fragile. Maybe you don't know what's happened in a person's life. You don't know what they've been through or they're going through. Just because one person can take a joke doesn't mean another person can and you shouldn't just be throwing these kind of fucking insults uh, willy-nilly at people. You know, the past few days, let's admit it, we've been talking about the online drama community of YouTube and how it's basically imploding on itself now and we got major drama YouTubers at each other's throats and they're losing sponsors left and right, which by the way, apparently H3H3 H3 lost his major Old Spice sponsorship over this whole rivalry with Keemstar now. Wow. <laughs> it's all falling apart, right? <clears throat> So I think now we're finally getting some public consciousness on how messed up and toxic the internet can be. Uh, Mirror, I never laughed at Pro Jared's situation. Go read the two tweets I made. Never laughed at the Pro Jared situation. I made two observational comments. One, referencing a tweet that he made that was negative towards me years before and basically just saying, gee, look like karma came back on you. And the other one was saying, if you're going to fail online, fail for your content. Not for your character. That wasn't even a reference directly to anything at Pro Jared. So, Mirror, never. I didn't laugh at his situation at all. You're incorrect. 
And this guy's a pathological liar. You know, I insult people who insult me first, but I insult people because they piss me off. Whether they're they're cheating in an online game, creating lag, or have a terrible connection and abusing, you know, online components of a fighting game to get cheap wins. You can't do anything. I'll never be able to react. What? Did you see that? Fuck this. Just just kill me. He cheated. He's a fucking cheater. A blatant fucking cheater. 100 percent blatant cheating. Oh Sakamura. Oh, Sakamura. We go to Sakamura. Oh, yeah. We eat at Sakamura. Yum, Sakamura. As all. Oh, uh, excuse me. As always, for the support. The problem is, I've told you guys many times, I have what's called post nasal drip. What that means is that <clears throat> I have a medical condition where I have phlegm or whatever you want to call it, constantly pouring down the back of my sinuses and the back of my throat. On a normal day, it's fine. It's okay. I've learned to deal with it. It's not a huge deal. But when the allergies are acting up, it's bad. I can wake up with monstrously swollen, painful sinuses, very hard to breathe, throat ends up swelling up, then the throat fills with gunk, and it's bad. Okay, now, earlier this week, I was fine. Then all of a sudden, I noticed in the air this week, here comes the white pollen with all these seeds pollinating, you know, all over the place. It's a mess. I'm like, oh my God. Now I'm trying to breathe. It's like, geez, it's so annoying. You know, it's not as bad as it could be. I've been so bad that I can't even breathe during this time of year. Why is her neck all like... Oh God, her neck is stretchy. Did you see that? Her head went... What the fuck? That ain't supposed to be. That ain't right. Something's fucked up. Something's fucked up with the physics that her head went... What the hell? It's like fucking Mr. Fantastic shit right there. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, my stupid allergies. This reminds me of the Star's office in Resident Evil 2 and 3, which appears in both games. Yeah, the Star's office in the police station. Oh, well, we know where the next item is. Oh, fuck! No! You piece of fucking shit! You son of a bitch! You fucking asshole mother fucking cock sucker! <laughs> is he dead? He's still twitching! He's dead. There's blood coming out from under him. Jesus Christ. That guy was so quiet. My God. See, the guy asked, what do I think about husbands being cucks? Oh, I'm all for it. Cuck life, 100%. Live the life of the cuck. Why not, right?